Okay, second grade. Uh, once you have painted your clay project two times and it's dry, you can uh, bring your brush over to the sink and there's two handles. When we turn on the sinks here in the art room, we want to make sure we're turning both of them on all the way. If only one of them is on, it's either going to be very hot and it's going to burn you or it's going to be very cold and you won't be able to keep your hands under. So make sure that both handles are turned up all the way. For cleaning our paintbrush, it's kind of like washing your hair. If you have mud or dirt in your hair, we want to get that out first before we do soap. So underneath the water, we're going to go ahead and make tiny circles. And we want to do that until the paintbrush is no longer making marks on our hand. So once we got most of the paint out, we can go ahead and get one pump of soap. And not in the water, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to wash our brush by just making nice, soft, gentle circles in the palm of our hand. Do this for about 15, 20 seconds. And you can see our brush wasn't as clean as it looked. And once we have done that for 15, 20 seconds, we can go ahead and rinse our brush. When we're done with it, we can spike the hair up and the brush can go back in our cup. Once your brush is clean, you'll grab your clay project. Again, it should be pitch black. We shouldn't see any color. We shouldn't see any white. And all we're going to do is, is we're going to put it under the water and we're going to massage over the top of it gently until the color comes back. Because the black is tempera, that's a water-based paint, and water does not like to stick to the wax from either our crayon or our colored pencil. So the color is going to come back, but the white clay is going to still be white and now it's going to be black because the paint will stick to the clay. So we'll put it under the water. We'll gently massage. And you can see our color coming back. You don't want to scrub too hard because you will scrub off your color. So it's just a nice, gentle massage. Some of the third graders last week were scrubbing so hard that they rubbed their color from their crayon and their color pencil right off of their project. So, once you're done, you can turn the water off. You can grab a paper towel. You can dab it on your heart. And now we have our black outline. Again, once this dries, if you are a little bit worried that your color went away and you want it to be bright again, we can always go ahead and grab a crayon or a color pencil and make the color brighter. But now we don't have to worry about trying to outline our design with a black Sharpie marker or with a small black paintbrush. So it's a nice, fast way to do it. You can take this and you can put it in the drying rack. And if there's any time left in class, you can go ahead and finish your Art for Kids Hub drawing.